Hi, this is Ian with Poppy Pros. In the process of helping people take their memories and family stories and turn them into clean, polished, magazine-quality short stories, one of the first and one of the most frequent questions we get is, how do I know what stories would make good written short stories? And one method that we've found to be really effective at helping people think of, of stories and, and prompt memories is a, a method sometimes called a, a spider chart method. And so the, with the spider chart method is, is you can think of who you may want to tell a story about, who do you have a, a close relationship with. Is it a, a, a grandfather, a grandmother, or a, a, a spouse, or a, a father, a mother, a sibling, a, your kids? Um, uh, could be, you know, think of who you would like to write about and, and make them the, the kind of the center of, of your chart here. And so to, as an example, I'm going to use my grandpa, who I was very close to. And so I'm going to make my grandpa the center of the chart here. Now, once you have that, um, you kind of, from here, you, you send a couple of spokes out and and think about you know what what memories do you have about your grandpa or what things were special to you about your grandpa or whoever you're writing about and so my my grandpa had a big beautiful um garden so and that, that's something that that i i enjoy doing as well and so i'm going to put that in there um He would always take us to to a local farm, and I have a lot of memories about that, so I'm going to put that there. Uh, he had this great truck that he would drive us around in to, to toy stores, and again, sorry about my handwriting here, but um, toy stores that he would take us to. Um, and then I have some memories, some kind of sadder memories, but still... You know, memories about when he was older and, and in, a, in a rest home. So, um, so I can, so I can, you know, those, those are general memories, and I kind of have general ideas about a lot of those, but they're not quite specific enough to turn into a, a short, short story. So I'm going to keep digging using the, the spider chart method here. And so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to pick one of these areas, and, and you can go through each of these, but I'm going to pick uh, the farm and send out some spokes here uh, of memories about that farm. I remember one time there's this giant tree that we would climb in. I remember uh, climbing that tree with my cousins one time and having a, there was a picnic back picnic table underneath the tree having a picnic there with my cousins and my my mom and my grandpa uh, there was another little chicken coop that they had converted into a, a play space and that I remember playing in that with my cousins one time and and um, one other time where I, I was there with my cousins and and one of them got bit by a, a goat and and so, anyway, so those are so now now those are specific uh, incidents, uh, specific memories of of something that happened, and that's that's kind of the level that you're trying to get to. And you know when when talking about when talking about your specific memory, say I want to write about the the time when there was a tree that's there's some great imagery there um some great people i can when telling this story i can also you know talk more generally about my general memories about the farm and then more generally about my grandpa so i use the vehicle of this specific story to talk um not only about what happened there and, and those memories, but to show um, what show what my grandpa was like and, and my memory of him and to describe what he looked like and if he had certain quirks or certain personality traits. You know, he always had, he was diabetic, and so he always had uh, 
candy in his pocket. And so, you know, he had this ragged plastic sandwich bag of candy that he had in his pocket that he would pull out and give to his grandkids. And, and so, so through the vehicle of this specific story, I can tell a lot about my grandpa in general. And so uh, I would encourage you to kind of go through this exercise yourself. Think of people that you care about. Think of some stories. I think you'll be surprised at how many uh, stories uh, you can think of just by using this method that would make really great stories and uh, would make great gifts um, to share with with your uh, family members if the, the stories may be about or about um, people that they love and are related to as well. So I encourage you to um, check us out at our website, poppypros.com, and consider submitting a story that uh, our writers can work with you and turn those memories into really high-quality uh, stories with some... Uh, really well-crafted literary touches. Thanks for your time.